Well, um, um, I'm going to show you a little uh, quick little recipe for uh, panfish. Went uh, ice fishing today. Well, I've gone for the last three days actually, and uh, a couple of la last couple of days we did good. We limited out on our white perch and crappie, but today was a little slower. But anyway, got enough for meals, so I'm going to eat these tonight. Anyway, I'll show you how to flame them up real quick, and a uh, uh, quick little recipe. You know, they're, they're pretty good eating. One of my favorites. So. Anyway, I'll um, get going basically uh, today we caught a little bit of everything. Um, we got a sunfish, bluegill, pumpkin seed, whatever you want to call that one. Uh, white perch, uh, you know, not a big one, but good eating size. Uh, a crappie, which is absolutely phenomenal eating, as you can you know, and a yellow perch. Again, not a big one, but. Uh, Yellow perch actually are really, really good eating if you pull them through the ice. So, anyway, we're going to do up what we have. And um, there's a bunch of ways to eat these. Um, you know, you're going to see people prepare them in different. I'll, a, a quick way to actually get the meat off these things without, uh, you know, so you have a nice little fish fry is go behind that little gill there. Um, put a little, this little slice there, and get down on the backbone like that, and run your knife right along the backbone, flip your fillet over, run it along the skin, and then when that's gone, and all you do is cut right on the back side of your ribs. Now, you know, like I said, there's not, not much meat in there anyway, so you take your time, you know, you can end up with a fillet, which, you know, that's a perfect size fillet to dip in batter and have. And if five, you know, six or seven of these, you know, is really all you need on a plate, you know, with some, with some chips or fries or, or whatever have you. But, uh, and again, one side always um, is easier than the other. Now, it takes a little bit of practice, but again, you know, you run it. You keep that blade as level right along that backbone. Like that. And a lot of times I don't cut it off. I just start there so I can I don't have to hold the the uh, you know the skin like that. And this is basically what you got left. I mean, there ain't a lot of meat there. <laughs> yeah, basically. Uh, you know, of course, I guess if you were you know in a survival situation, uh, you could dry the meat, uh, dry the skin, make a tarp out of it. You know, boil the bones, suck the nutrition out of that, use them for sewing needles, and then. Uh, Use that for bait, I suppose. I don't know, whatever. But we're not up against that, so we're just gonna make a meal out of these things and get on with our lives. But anyway, it's basically uh, you know, all there is to it. Um, and uh, a good knife is uh, definitely key. Um, uh, this has no jimping, which is uh, Kind of unacceptable, I guess. But um, anyway, unacceptable by some standards. Um, again, if you can see that, but cut your. Uh, Cut your meat out, and on the crappie, you always get a little bit of meat right here. You don't want to waste that, so you end up with that nice little fillet out of your crappie.
once you get your fillets cut up, um, I do a egg and milk wash and uh, breading, which um, or batter, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I make it up myself. I use corn flour and uh, some panko breadcrumbs, a lot of you know, a lot of peppers, different spices. It's kind of personal preference. I like a, a little bit of kick to it. You can buy it all made up, see, but uh, essentially give it a, a once on the egg. And give it a double, like that. And back in the batter. So it's a double dip. Essentially, just double dipping it. I like it better. Gives it a thicker, thicker batter. Um, again, the batter is kind of a personal preference. But. Once you get that grease hot, then you don't really want it over 350 degrees for fish. Um, you can give it a quick test and just drop a little bit of batter in it. That looks pretty hot. Find uh, for some tartar sauce, take a little mayonnaise, a little bit of your favorite relish, mix it right up, throw in some spices, salt, pepper, celery seed, and you get yourself a quick tartar sauce. Mm. Those fries are done. Let's get those out of there. Ketchup on the side. A little ketchup. A little of uh, tartar sauce. And there you have a really good. Quick fish fry. 
the end of the day, after you've been out on the ice all day. Oh, oh yeah, that was a crappie right there. Mmm, good. Mmm. Fish and chips. Great idea. Oh. Wouldn't be fish and chips without an ice cold beer. And sitting in the snowbank all day. <laughs>